right. Hi, guys. Here we are on lesson 13, second video, and we are working on subtracting mixed numbers. As you can see here, we have number two from your book. So go ahead and make sure that you have your book open. And let's jump right into it. So let's estimate the difference. So let's think about the fractions that we have there to help us estimate the difference so that when we do our subtraction, we can make sure that we're pretty close to where we need to be. So 1 sixth, right, and 10 twelfths. 1 sixth is pretty small. 10 twelfths is pretty big, right? 10 twelfths is almost one whole. 1 sixth is less. Look at those whole numbers. 9 minus 4 would be 5. So I'm thinking that our answer is going to be between 4 and 5, right? So there's our first step. Think about what we could um, estimate. Our next step is to see if we're ready to subtract. Not quite ready to subtract because we do not have like units, right? Hmm. Looks related, right? Because we have a 6 and a 12, and 6 times 2 is 12. So let's change our 6 to 12, right? So 1 6 using that frame every time to make sure that we're not taking any shortcuts. It only takes, you know, 10 seconds to write it out. One times two is two, and six times two is 12. So now we have nine and two twelfths minus four and 10 twelfths, right? Minus four, and 10 twelfths. All right, so look at that problem for a minute and think about, are we ready to subtract? I don't know about you, but I see a small problem there. Do you see a small problem there? We can't subtract two minus 12. And yes, we do need to beware of backward subtraction. We're not going to do 10 minus 2, right? So we need to figure out what we can do about this problem. All right? So let me just pull up a different view here for us. Let's look at this one. Okay? All right. So what if we took... Oh, and sorry, they took their 10 twelfths and decomposed it, which is an option, right? So 10 twelfths, we can change it to 6 by dividing. We can multiply or divide, right? So if we divide that by 2 over 2, then that's going to give us 5 sixths, okay? Same thing. But now we have sixths. So we also still have the same problem of 1 6 minus 5 6. Can't do it. But look at the way they broke it up like a number bond, right? So they took the 4 and then they broke up the 1 6 in, I mean, the 5 6 into 1 6 and 4 6. Now let's think about why they would do that. You see here, we can get rid of the 1 6, right? Subtract 1 6 from 1 6. So basically, think about this. You have nine and one-sixth pizzas, and you're giving away four and five-sixths pizzas. So if I give away one-sixth, right, I'm essentially getting rid of this one-sixth, and that gives me the whole number of nine. Then I could subtract nine minus four, get rid of my whole number four, and that leaves me with five. And now I can do five minus four-sixths, right? And look at what they did here. 4 plus 1 minus 4 sixths. Okay? All they did was separate the 4 and the 1, which is equal to 5, right? Because 1 is the same as 6 sixths. So if I'm going to take 4 sixths away from 1, I'm going to take 6 6 minus 4 6 equals 2 sixths. And I still have 4 left and I took away those four-sixths there, okay? I like this idea of breaking it up and then 
taking them away bit by bit as you take them away. And then my answer is four and two sixths. Okay, make sure that you have this all written down in your notes on number two. All right, very important that you're following along and writing down your notes as we go. going to clear that off. So if you don't have it, please pause me and get that cleared off. All right. We're going to look at another way to do that same problem. Yeah, that's one of the problems with math is that we can do it different ways. But I mean, maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's a good thing, right? So once again, we broke our four and one six and four sixths from our four and five sixths. And then we use a number line. So starting with 9 and 1 6, take away 1 6, get rid of the 1 6. Then we're at 9. Now take away the 4, get rid of the 4. Now we're at 5, take away 4 6. That lands us at 4 and 2 6. Okay, I know for some of you, you're getting used to like thinking backwards, thinking about taking away on that number line and moving backwards, right? So I understand it can be a challenge. Let's see if I have one more way to show this to you. Yes, right here. Okay, so nine and two twelfths minus 10 twelfths. That was our original problem. So we, um, I'm sorry, not quite our original problem. Our original problem was six and twelfths. But for this one, they changed your one sixth to two twelfths, like I did originally, right? So here we have our four broken into four and 10 twelfths. And then we're subtracting the four out. So four and two twelfths, get rid of the four. And now we have five and two twelfths. So we're getting rid of the four first. Then we have five and two twelfths minus 10 twelfths. Once again, two minus 10, that's a challenge but let's break it into 2 twelfths and 8 twelfths because 2 plus 8 is 10, so I'm just breaking it into two parts. Now I'm taking away the 2, and that's leaving me with 5, and then I'm taking my 5, thinking of it as 4 and 12 twelfths, 12 twelfths minus 8 twelfths right here is 4 twelfths, that leaves me with 4 and 4 twelfths. Still the same answer, right? 4 and 2 six, 4 and 2 twelfths, it's the same sorry, four and four twelfths. It's the same uh, number, just a different uh, multiple, right? Okay, so we're just looking at different ways to subtract and we're just practicing some different ways to subtract. Okay, thanks for watching and paying close attention. I'll see you on the next video. Aloha.